What's going on guys? So today we're going to do a little educational video, a little bit different. Uh, we're going to talk specifically about BMW's feature called HSC, also known as Hill Start Control. Now a couple of friends, a couple of people have asked me about this feature and exactly how it is that it works. So we're going to go ahead and do a little test on showing you guys how to engage it, how it, how, you know, how essentially how it works and what better way to do it than on, on a, this really steep hill, right? So essentially, what is it? So BMW, uh, if you go ahead and give this front brake lever a nice strong squeeze, a little light will turn on on the dashboard, which I'll show you guys later. But essentially what happens is there's uh, the rear brake engages. I'm sorry, it's really dirty. I know, I know. The rear brake engages um, automatically once you squeeze the front brake fairly fairly hard and it's it's really interesting because the way that you describe this to people that have never used it and have never written on this bike is when when their rear foot is on the bike and you activate the the hsc you will feel the rear brake leave the t your toes essentially you'll feel it leave automatically and then kind of come back a little bit and that will tell you that the bike has engaged the hill start control which is pretty nice because yes it might throw you off at the beginning but besides having that front light that's an indicator that tells you that this feature is enabled you will also have uh like a sense like sensorial sense of, like haptic feedback you could say on your foot thanks to that automatically engagement of the brake. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go right to the bottom, we're gonna turn around, we're gonna go ahead and come back up, and we're gonna go ahead and stop in front or behind one of these cars, uh, just to be out of the way. There's a little bit more traffic than I anticipated today, but uh, we're gonna go and see, uh, give you guys a little example of how this works. Okay, so here we go. Jeez, this hill is really, really, really steep. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but what, what are we doing right now? Our foot is completely off of the rear brake. We're only holding on to this hill by the front brake, right? So if I give this bar, this bar a nice firm squeeze, the light turns on on the dash, upper left-hand corner, it's green, an H in a circle. And as soon as I let go of this rear brake, as soon as I let go of the rear brake, I don't know if you guys could tell in the video, but the bike kind of lifted up a little bit. So as soon as I squeezed it, it engaged, which lowered the back. And then as soon as I let go, it brought the back, the bike back up. And essentially that's just engaging. It's letting you know that it's working, okay? So right now I'm in first gear, holding on to the clutch. Obviously you can see the hill uh, assist control, hill start control. I don't even know what the name is, it's enabled. Hand this off the front brake, hand this off the rear brake. Cool, right? How do I turn it off? You can just go ahead and give it a nice squeeze again. It disappeared from there. The bike sunk in. If I ease off the rear brake, the bike starts to move, right? How do I engage it? Nice firm squeeze, let go. So it's an amazing feature. Now, what else is cool about this? Not only can you disengage that um, braking assist, that hill start assist, from squeezing the front brake, but you can also deactivate it by giving the bike throttle and, you know, essentially moving forward. Now, the cool thing about this is that the bike will automatically know how much power you're giving it throttle-wise so that it will automatically disengage that rear brake when it knows that you have built enough momentum up to start moving forward, okay? So I'm gonna do this for the first time on a hill this steep. I'm not gonna give it any front brake. I'm not gonna give it any rear brake. We're in first gear. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it some throttle and release the clutch, obviously. And we're gonna see how far back I scoot before I start going forward, okay? No braking done by me whatsoever. Here we go. Look at that, look at that, nice and easy, nice and simple guys, no budging whatsoever towards the back. Now we're going to go try this again, okay? Nice. So we're going to go ahead and come, come down. We might scoot over real quick, let this red car go by. Yeah, there we go. 
We're going to come around and we're going to go back up and then re-engage the brake, the HSC feature. Okay, we're here. We're going to stop, squeeze the front brake, activate it. Bam. So, it's as easy as that, guys. All you got to do is squeeze that front brake nice and hard. You will not only get the light up display, like I said, letting you know it's on, but you'll also have some haptic, haptic feedback from the bike on your right foot and also on your seat. You'll feel it will come down, engaging the brake, and then come right back up. It's very gradual, but you'll absolutely feel it. Once you sit on one of these bikes and play with that feature, you'll know exactly what it is I'm talking about. So now we're going to go ahead and demonstrate again what it's like to go up forward without having to take off the, the assist. Obviously, I could, I could do it. I could squeeze the front brake, remove that, and then apply rear brake myself or front brake to go ahead and move forward. But in this particular case, we're just going to go ahead and, and go forward. No disengaging the brake. It will do it automatically once, again, the bike knows that I have enough power or have built up enough momentum to move the bike forward without scooting back whatsoever on this really steep hill. I'm not sure if you guys can see the angle that I'm trying to balance at with that sidewalk and the horizon back there but here we go we're gonna just go ahead and go forward no cars are coming get the gas bam a little slow on my part you know even though it's an amazing technology i haven't used it that much for these uh hills right i do trust it um but yeah that's just a little demonstration of what this bike is capable of doing so yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Now, another really cool thing about the bike is that it will actually allow you to fully customize how that feature gets enabled, right? So right now we know that it's completely manual. You And by that, I mean you yourself engage it with the front brake, right? It also has two other settings. So if we go into the vehicle settings, go into settings, vehicle settings, HSC pro mode. You see how we have it on manual. We can have off. Right, so it never does it, it never engages, no matter how hard we squeeze the brake. Or we could do auto. So on any hill, as soon as you stop, the gyroscope I'm assuming that the bike has will know the incline of the hill that you're on and will automatically engage the brake. Now, I have never used this auto feature before, so we're gonna go ahead and try and see uh, what kind of, how, how it just works, how it feels whenever it is that we park uh, or come to a stop on a hill like this. So we're gonna go ahead and try it. Again, we're gonna come around, stop in front of that car and see if it engages on its own without me using the front brake. I will use the rear brake. I know that the rear brake does not engage the HSC feature, no matter how hard you press it. It's only the front, okay? So as soon as we park up there, since we have it on auto now, it should engage all on its own. As soon as we have a chance to go through, we're going to go ahead and try it. I did not see that man wave or nod. Anyway, here we go. Let's try it out. Clutches in, slowing down with my rear brake, applying rear brake, and it's on. That's pretty cool. I barely, I did scoot back a little bit. Um, just a, not nearly too bad. Like I was able to stay on my tippy toes and not, not worry about how far back I was going. I didn't feel off balance. I didn't feel the bike jolt. I did feel the rear brake give me that haptic feedback like I mentioned and the seat as well. So that's pretty cool. It works, you know? <laughs> Good job, BMW. So the thing is now, you can kind of see the angle that I'm standing out here trying to balance out with my tippy toes. And the horizon again it's a pretty big angle now i wonder what kind like how much angle do we actually need for this to engage is it any angle is it something steep like this so let's go ahead and find out i think there's a slightly less steep hill up ahead of here so we're going to go ahead and find it uh let's see again how much throttle i need to apply nothing too bad i didn't scoot back at all which is great you get some serious air coming up on that hill, by the way. I did it once on accident on this bike, completely forgot. And I, I got maybe like a foot of clearance on both wheels and I just came smashing down on the ground. All right, where can we go? I'm in full squid mode today, by the way. I didn't plan on riding anywhere, so. 
I said YOLO. Where are we? 25th? I think there's a hill to the left. Yeah. And this whole uh, hill start assist or control, this works downhill as well. And we're going to give you guys a little example of that right now. There should be a little hill right here. This little one. Put my hazards on. Go ahead and kick it to neutral. Stop right here real quick. So if I give it a front squeeze, obviously it engages. I can't move the bike no matter how hard I thrust. It does not budge. It does not budge. That's good to know. So we're going to go ahead that way. We're going to turn around and then we're going to see if it automatically engages when we're coming up on the same little hill right here in the shade. Let's find out. No one's coming. Oh shit. Almost slipped. I'm going to turn around here. I'm really bad at U-turns. I need to practice more. That wasn't too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and come this way. Throw our hazards on. We are on an incline. Look at that. Automatically. That's so cool. That's awesome. Well, there you go. It knows. It's smart enough. This is hardly an incline. It's worse up there than it is right here. But that's fantastic. There you go. That's Hill Start Control, guys. Hope you guys learned. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want to learn anything else with the bike. Or if you guys want me to test other things, I'm more than happy to go ahead and give it a try. So, comment down, subscribe, like, do your thing. Usual YouTube stuff. Thank you guys so much for checking in, checking this video out. I hope it was informative. And I'll catch you guys on the road.